hello guys and welcome back so now as you know everything is ready now the next thing is that we can pick up the rifle and when the ammo finishes and also when we are low on health, on health then we don't have anything to boost the ammo and the health so for that we will create a pickup system in which the player can pick up the health and also the ammo okay so in here the player will pick up the rifle and then right here on this bed we will add a box for health or ammo etc etc okay for that in the unity asset store we have this free package you can add your own ammo and health boxes if you want but i am using this boxes pack here is the owner name and this is a free asset which is 8.3 mb so let's just actually click on open unity then open unity editor and if you didn't download this download it and then click on import okay let's simply import it let me click on this boxes in the prefabs as you can see we have this boxes so let's add this first one which is this one let's drag and drop this on top of the bed right there actually first we will be adding the health box so let me just put the health box there okay and let's move this health box right there let's for now remove the animator and actually click on this unpack completely drag and drop that down and create a empty main object for this and name that has health box now let's go ahead and type a script for this so in the scripts we will create a new c-sharp script by the name of health boost let's add this here and simply open this up now in here we will create a header not for the ammo boost for the health boost and then we need a reference to the player script because in the player script we have the player health variables and after that we will create a private float by the name of health to give and this will basically be the value that how many health this one box will give so it will give 120f and we want to set a radius around this box so we will set a radius of 2.5 so when the player is right here then he can be able to pick up this if he is far away then he can't pick up this box so for that we will create a private float by the name of radius and we also want to add sound to it when we pick it up we want to play some sound so for that we need a reference to the sound which we want to add and we will store that sound in this variable and then we need a reference to our audio source as well and also when we pick this box up we want to play some animation as well so we also need a reference to our animator after that let's create a update function and inside this update function we will first check that let me create a vector 3 first right here distance we will first check that if the transform of the box okay the position of the box and then the player dot transform dot position if they are close okay so in order to do that we will say that if they are less than the radius then what we want to do we will then say that if the player is in the radius and then the player clicks the F button then what we want to do we want to play an animation which will be by the name of open we will set that to true and after that we will update the player health so the player dot present health okay not the player 
player health the present health we will update the player present health to the health to give which is 120 and after that we want to play the sound effect so in order to do that we will simply say audio source dot play one shot let's play the health boost sound and then we want to destroy that health object so we'll say object dot destroy we will destroy the health box after 1.5 seconds that's it save the script now get back right here in the audio source at the clear audio source and in the sound let's add the this health pickup sound and right here we will drag and drop the clear script and now we need the animator for this so actually what we will do is inside the boxes we have this pre -tops. let's go in there we have the textures we have the mesh and then we have this animator let me add this let me open this up it has this animation open box let's drag and drop the box in here we need to add the box editor click on it again and now as you can see it open and close rename this to open okay let's click on this and let's apply it right there okay, this is the animator let's add this open now and let's name this as open okay and it will basically open that up right here create a bool by the name of open and let me create a empty state let's name this as idle and set this to default here and when we open the box okay so right here when the open is set to true then we want to open up the animation okay then we want to do all of that so make an empty idle state and then from there set the open to true now if you play it this will now work let's go as you can see it opens up but when we got there it was already open and we actually don't want that so let's just close this on the box or actually what we can do is to delete the box in, in here let's go in the prefabs here is the box let's add it there let's move it in there let me just delete it again add this in there okay here is the box now let's remove that click on prefab unpack completely now let's save it now let's play the game and now as you can see it is closed let's click on F it will open up and as you can see the box is now disappeared okay and actually let's test it out let's take some damage from the zombie okay the zombie damages us let's come right here let's take it as you can see now the health is uh, the health didn't up update but now when the zombie hit us as you can see it just becomes full okay but we want to do that in a very quick time we want to quickly update the health bar but let's just focus on that in the future videos let's end this video right here